welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2 and my continuing attempts to do all the Chef for Hire events at all the restaurants and get a gold medal each time. As the wonderful phrase in Mastermind went, I've started so I'll finish. Painful though this may be. However, pain is good for the soul. This time around I'm going to be continuing with Absolutely and shift number two which has gumbo stew and soup apparently with soup and stew as a side and tea as a drink as i found out with shift one you basically prepare all these foods in advance so all they can really throw at you is a lot of patrons and a lot of chores as always i want a gold medal so i need a perfect day so first prepare thy gumbo Oh, I actually have to think about this one. And stew. Oil. Potatoes and peas. Okay. Nice easy stew. Then do the sides. Be broth. Bow tie. Oil and chicken. Five, some more stew as a side. Oil, beef, potatoes and onions. Okay, apparently gumbo is very popular in this restaurant today. It was on the menu last time I did this restaurant too. Soup, that soup and the um, stew were not. Last time I think it was chowder and something else. I forget, I forget now. Terrible having a bad short term memory. But the soup and stew I prepare as sides create 18 servings apiece, whereas the one I create for the entree creates 6. Me think something wrong with that picture. Oh, ooh. somebody wants a tea. There you go, have a nice drink of tea, whoever wanted that one. Oh, okay, and a chore. Okay, well, while well, I've got the time, I will prepare another gumbo. Oh, that's the first soup of the day that I've served. a well, very well dressed lady sat at the table on the right and very well dressed lady walking past this to leave the restaurant but there's a punk type person sat on the left well obscured by the huge lights this restaurant apparently has must be time for a rush hour I'm doing the dishes well I've got time my shrimp Green beans, oil and sausages. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Missed the seven key. Right. Oh, okay, now I've run out of soup. Uh, tortilla. Bow tie with tortilla. Classic tea. Two, four, five, and six. And now I've run out of stew. Beef, potatoes, and onions. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven again. Four, number six, number one. Dishes at number three. Then I need to prepare some more soup and some more sides, apparently, but. Do the rat. Oop, six and seven. One oh, more dishes. Okay. Soup, beef broth. 
celery, carrots, beans, mushrooms and potato. Yeah, that's a soup on the way. Oh, let's do the toilet while we're here and serve these people their gumbo. Oh, and apparently I've never run out of gumbo. Well, that's easy to prepare. Four. Oh, five, five. Do number six while I'm here then. Oh, that wonderful noise in my ear must mean I've got up a level. Yep, to level 53 apparently. I even have time to look up in this restaurant for things like that. And let's prepare some more stew. Oil, beef, potatoes and onions. Oh, that was stew as a side. Let me prepare some more stew as an entree. Oil, beef, peas, carrots, and onions. And the next thing apparently I'm going to run out of is soup. So let's prepare some of that in advance. Well, I should have enough size to get either close to the end of the day or to the end of the day, one of the two. Another 33 sides left to go, and it's 4 p.m. And the restaurant closes at 10. Although I am probably going to set a record for the amount of dishes I've ever done in one day. Oh, there's a man sat on the right in a pure white suit. Suit. Does he think he's John Travolta in the 1970s? Okay, that's the first time I've put lentils in soup so far today. Sweet tea. Okay. And now I've run out of stew and gumbo. Oil, beef, peas and carrots, and Rice, shrimp, okra, onions, oil and sausages. Passion tea. Number two, number five and number seven can be served. Let's get number one. One, two, three, six and seven. Number five is the rat. I'm about to run out of stew again. I've only just cooked some stew. Peach tea. You're trying to confuse me with peach tea by making me press the P key. Oil, beef, peas, carrots, and onions. Right. Number three, four. The toilet. Number six and number seven. Oh, what the heck? Prepare another side. Uh, number five is next. Tropics tea. Yes, you can't upset me with all your chores. If you'd thrown every chore in the sun at me, it wouldn't have mattered to me. Because I can deal with it, because I don't have to prepare any food on demand. Yes. This is possibly one of the easiest times I've had at a restaurant for a long time. Though I did wash 169 dishes. And I think last time I earned $74 in salary. This time I got a, oh, a pay rise of $1. And I might have earned less tips. However, I got my gold medal. Okay, I've got a Mexi Moon B wall object. Very pretty. A restaurant booth in blue with a white table. A mounted wall light that looks like it belongs in a garage or outside a garage wall. Sexy friend art people. 
Not sure they're that sexy, but... Floor number two, the hard floor. Wooden floor, basically. Wall panel number six. Mounted wall light. That definitely looks like an outside light. Yum, level 53 achieved. New chef for higher levels unlocked. Okay, apparently one of the ones it unlocked was in absolutely. Oh no, that was shift two. I already had a shift three unlocked. It hadn't done it yet. Right, so it must have been... That one was already unlocked. Don't know which ones are unlocked. I really should come back to Estebans at some point. I've got more than nine levels or nine shifts waiting for me there. I've unlocked them all. There were, in fact, ten shifts waiting for me. It just looks bad when you see nine plus on the screen. But doing Mexican food is something I'm not necessarily good at, so that's probably why I haven't been back there for a while. However, that's a complete aside. That was the second shift, absolutely. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you down the road for more Chef for Hire in Cook, Serve, Delicious 2.